All right, class 7-1, this is just the notes from our quick lesson that we had today on subjects and predicates. We've been learning that the subject of a sentence is the noun in a sentence. It's who or what is performing the main action in the sentence. That's a good way to recognize a noun. So in this sentence here, the very cute puppy scampered down the hill. The simple subject in that sentence, the one who's doing the scampering is puppy. The complete subject includes all the words related to the main noun, the very cute puppy in this case. These are words that are describing the puppy. And you can see that right down here. All right, then we have predicates. Let me change my color. There we go. Uh, a predicate contains the verb or the action that the main noun is performing. In this case, it's a scamper. The complete predicate includes all of the words related to the main verb. In this case, it's scamper down the hill. So, review. Subject is the noun. Complete subject includes all the words describing the subject, including the subject itself. The predicate contains the verb, the action that the subject is performing. The complete predicate includes all the words related to the simple predicate. We also today looked at that subject that in sentences subjects and predicates can be flipped around. That's my dog barking. One second. Sentences that are written in natural or order have the subject coming first and then the predicate coming second. The puppy scampered down the hill. You can invert sentences though. You can put the predicate first and then have the subject come. In this case, a sentence looks like down the hill, scampered. There is your complete predicate. And then you have the subject, the puppy. All right, quick review. Natural order, the subject comes first, then the predicate. Inverted order, the predicate comes first, and then the puppy.